everybody, and welcome back to our show, From This Corner TV, and I'm Marilyn Dayton, your host and producer, and we've got a very, as usual, very good show for you tonight as the rain comes down upon our heads here. Um, I want to remind you that the reason we're here is to not just entertain you, but to talk about topics that both interest you and educate you. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about giving back, which we all should do, and also supporting our nonprofit organizations, as well as helping our young entrepreneurs. So that's our focus for today. And with us, we are so happy to have Ann Garland, the CEO of Ann Garland Enterprises, and also our managing director for the Greater Hartford and Shoreline chapter of eWomen Network. And you've heard that name before. And Jean Boyer Roy, Director of Client Engagement for Harvest Development Group. And she's on our leadership team at eWomen Network. Welcome, both of you, and welcome back. I know, Nick. it's so nice to be back. We had so much fun last time. Oh, we did. We always have fun. Yeah. But I, before. Today's serious. Yes. Before we get started, okay, you're looking at three little bit tired ladies. We have had <laughs> wonderful wonderful exceptional days last night and the night before <laughs> we were we were excellent e-women network ladies and we had with us the founder Sandra Yancey and she is amazing she is, amazing. She is just so amazing and I mean we're all still kind of floating on air from having her because she's just oh she's so wonderful well, so wonderful. I usually say she's she's Ohio born, mm -hmm. and she's Dallas based, and she's authentic and real, smart, smart, <laughs> very smart, and she's a good person to be around. She is wonderful. Yeah. What a hugger! Oh, she yes. is such a Among hugger. Among many things. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And she was just so open and warm to everybody. We had last night. We had a room full of about 150 people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it was it was hopping. That place was. We it was rocked just, the roof. Oh, <laughs> the energy, the high energy. Because what you may not know, and I, I think I've said it before about you women network. The thing that I love about this network is it's not just a social club, which is the way a lot of organizations are. What we do is we meet and we help one another, and and all of these women are a higher level than you normally get a chance to cross paths with. And it's just so exciting to meet these people and get to know them. Mm -hmm. And we are, we can't help each other enough. It's just, it's just a natural thing that we do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it becomes like a sisterhood as the relationships develop, but the relationships are strong. They are. Mm -hmm. they are. And these are all businesswomen and entrepreneurs, and they are serious, but fun. So. <laughs> and and our, our primary tenet, our principle is give first, share always, and lift as you climb. Mm -hmm. And yes. so that is that has been, Sandra's always, always, since she started the organization back in 2000, which is 15 years ago, mm -hmm. she always gives back. Um, she just remembers when, and it's very important for her to give back. And right. she's created several different um, opportunities to give back through eWomen. And I think we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Right? We're going to talk a lot about that right. tonight right. because yeah. it's really important. Um, I know I shared with you that uh, as a businesswoman and entrepreneur, I've always given back. Even when I started in radio at 12, um, I was just giving back. Uh, although I was a more serious and not as much fun person mm -hmm. back then, mm -hmm. but I still believed in giving back uh, because mm -hmm. it balances you. Absolutely. Yep. And the people that do not give back are not as fulfilled, okay? So keep that in mind. And as we're talking here tonight, I want you to think about maybe writing down some ideas about how you can give back some people that you can help, okay? Because these young business women and entrepreneurs are our future. So we have to remember that. They need our help. They need our uh, shared wisdom. They need our support. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So 
Before we do this, okay, let's get to know our guests a little bit, okay? Now, Annie, you've been on our show before, but I don't mind hearing again okay. who you are and what you do. Well, I wear several different hats, and I'm very happy to be here and sharing that with you. So I have Annie Garland Enterprises, and what I do with that is I create and produce events for women over 40 who are seeking change, finding purpose, and wanting to move forward. And so ha take that and marry that with the opportunity with eWomen Network, and it's doing what I was doing with Annie Girl and Enterprises, but now on steroids. Gotcha. <laughs> Good steroids. Good <laughs> steroids. <laughs> and and the, one of the things that is really attracted me to eWomen Network is the Giving Back program, their Femter Awards, and um, I did it always when I would do an event for Annie Garland Enterprises and I, I do several, several, I do Women Honoring Women and I do something called Girls Goals at the Grizz and there's always mm -hmm. a give back. But I couldn't do it at the level of, mm -hmm. of receiving mm -hmm. from the community as I can do now with the Women Network. I mean, Sanda has created just such an amazing um, program. She's got several different areas where we give back and it fills my heart. And it's mm. it's got a lot of muscle to it, it wouldn't does. you say, Jean? Absolutely has yeah. muscle. It's it really it's a does. very um, disciplined approach, but at the same time it's thoughtful and meaningful. You know, and, and it's a nonprofit whose mission is very simply to see to it that women inspire and mentor because of their experience and desire to share. Yes. And it really allows for young women to look up and have role models and be successful. It allows for those who are experienced to give back by sharing time and talent and treasure. And it allows the organization, our chapter, to be as supportive as we possibly can in all of those various ways. So it's such a great integration of what it takes for a nonprofit to be successful. Yeah. Now you work with nonprofits and your I what we should say day job. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> but I, but one of the things I have to say about being on the leadership team for the chapter is I'm allowed to integrate what I love to do, which is really help nonprofits be successful mm -hmm. um, and support the women in this environment uh, because women in philanthropy are a whole chapter and, and subject in and of itself. But that's a, for a different discussion. But oh. it's something that is very, very interesting and, and uh, we should chat about that at some time. Or later. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. later. We'll or, or later, perhaps. <laughs> right, good point. But um, Harvest Development Group, where I'm the Client Engagement Director, uh, was founded uh, by Sandra Lintelman Della Ripa right here on the shoreline, Old Saybrook, uh, in 2009. Um, and the organization focuses on creating high-performing philanthropy mm. without feeding your roots, which is our tagline, mm -hmm. which really means taking your nonprofit and running it as a business. Now, mm. what does that in a little bit more detail. What does that entail? How do you help them? What we do is we have a process, and our process is focused on root cause analysis, which is why we want to feed the roots. You have to be able to understand what's happening, why you have not been as, success as successful as you'd like to have been, mm -hmm. or it's time for transition in leadership, or your programs and services might have met the mark in 2011, but this is 2015, mm -hmm. and it might be time to make a series of changes because the environment has changed and the constituents have changed, exactly. and the needs of the constituents mm -hmm. have changed. So we, we, we conduct studies, we scan the environment, we produce recommendations, we synthesize results, we ultimately recommend transformational change mm. and we train leadership 
both the staff, executive directors, and of course the governance. We work very closely with the boards. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. Thank I you. know so many charities and organizations out there that could use a refreshing look. <laughs> And um, I will mention you to several of them. That would be awesome. That. that would be because awesome. Because I would really, you know, I'm all for these organizations to succeed mm -hmm. because there's so many of them. And they all have such wonderful commitment. Mm. And, you know, we can't have enough organizations that try to reach out and help businesses and, and people. Right. Right. And uh, But it, in order to succeed, it has to be well organized it has to, and, and, and have an un unbiased expert look uh, right. can help we, we and they listen to you. We often see how much passion and commitment they have mm -hmm. however it has to focus on people process and program and that those three have to be integrated in such a way that the mission can advance what business doesn't want to advance. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. And that's and that's the difference. That's where we'll work with the organization to help them advance mission based on vision, need, and goal. Now, a lot of our people that watch, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of our audience mm -hmm. are involved or aware of an organization. Mm -hmm. Now, if they needed some help mm -hmm. and they were to want to approach their board of directors mm -hmm. and their executive mm -hmm. staff, mm -hmm. uh, paid and or unpaid, uh, right. mm -hmm. um, how would they go about, would you, would we call you and then you would come in and speak right. to them? Right, there's, there's uh, a couple of, depending on where they're located, mm -hmm. uh, because we do a lot virtually as well. One of the great things about Harvest is we have a high tech tool bag, so we can, uh, work with, uh, f here's an example, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, working as an executive coach with the executive director for a, an Oak and Ivy Museum out of Arkansas. Wow, Oak and Ivy? Oak and Ivy Museum out of Arkansas. Cool. Huh. And it hasn't been built yet. Hmm. Oh. We're going to be reviewing the capital campaign plan tomorrow via a webinar. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, so one of the services is executive coaching, and, and we have this tool bag of um, really sophisticated tools and techniques. And we got to this place ready to do the feasibility prep because she used another high tech tool, which is called Live Plan, which she created her business plan to create the campaign for this new museum by just completing the template, which is a virtual template where you are actually allowed to um, complete questions and answers and create the form. So you do your finance, you do your marketing, you do your human resources, you do your program and service all through the virtual online system. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. So it doesn't matter where they're located. No, not at all. You can still help right. them. What, one of the things that happens typically is that in order to get to the point where the organization is ready to engage mm -hmm. us as a, mm -hmm. as a service provider, we'll do probably 90 to two hours worth of consults, brainstorming, looking over strategic plans and business plans. We ask a lot of questions. That's a good thing. Lots, a lot of questions. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, um, you know, we usually come to some mutual understanding of how best to advance the mission. Exactly. Okay. And you wonder why she's our, <laughs> our leader for... <laughs> I don't wonder why, but you may have, but now you know. <laughs> Oh my because gosh. she's an we, expert. People. We are so honored for her oh, to be absolutely. our foundation leader for eWomen yeah, Network. Yeah. And that's what I love about this role because I get to do what you do. I, what I do. <laughs> and I'm doing it as a volunteer mm -hmm. and I'm sharing and I, I, yeah, I have a vision for where we have to go mm -hmm. uh, in the eWomen Network uh, in our own chapter with, mm -hmm. with the strategy to advance our mission to support the corporate foundation. 
I have to share a story with you. When, <laughs> um, <laughs> when I first met Jeannie, uh, met her at another women's organization, because I'm a serial networker. Everybody yes, knows that. I'm yes. a pollinator, serial networker. Anyway, we met at this uh, women's breakfast right. meeting, and there was just some sparkle about Jeannie that I knew. And, and again, I'm always zeroing in on people and putting them, taking them from the sidelines, putting them in, in the spotlight. Yes, you are. But you, um, I didn't quite understand what Harvest Group was, and I just knew that you and I were going to be working together. And I didn't know how or where or when, and I knew I didn't, didn't have the muscle behind me with mm -hmm. my company mm -hmm. and where I was going. Mm -hmm. And fast forward, here I am with eWomen Network, mm -hmm. 10 months. I grabbed you right from the beginning. <laughs> And, and I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. No, you, you weren't. <laughs> Neither was I. But you oh, know, it's a great thing. It's a wonderful you, thing. You had enough faith that you knew it was going to be fun. I did. I <laughs> did. So, and, and that's what it's all about. When you're doing anything, you've got to really enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Don't you think? I think your audience oh. needs to know that, too. Yes. That um, when, when you're out there and you've committed to, you know, some sort of volunteer program, you gotta have fun, right? Yeah. If you don't have fun, what's the purpose? Well, you know, the other thing that I have so enjoyed um, about this experience, I don't know about you, Marilyn, I feel like I've known these women for a long time. Yes, yes. But, you know, in reflection, and, and, and having the guests that I had with me last evening, I said to Lisa, I said, you know, Lisa, I, I really have been, not been on this leadership team for very long, only since really like August or maybe September. Mm -hmm. So it really hasn't been that long in mm -hmm. terms of um, official foundation leader title, so to speak. But yet, um, being part of the dinner last evening's experience, emails today shared amongst people, just and Twitter and oh yes, and my Twitters, um, <laughs> but. Um, that to me was is is what connects and builds long term relationships. Absolutely, it just is that to me is what makes the difference for this particular network. You're giving me goosebumps. So am I. Yeah. So am I. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 And what I also want to put in here is you're probably wondering how does the local chapter help contribute to the foundation? And we'll talk about the details of the foundation in a little while. But I would like to, to put in right here, mm -hmm. what is it that we do at our monthly meetings uh, that helps a nonprofit potentially be a part of the foundation? Well, I my vision and my strategy from the day I came on board as uh, managing director was to give back and we have several programs with eWomen Network that we can do that. Sandra Yancey every year in August selects a nonprofit that she wants to give to and I think we discussed this the last time I was on board, the Bully mm -hmm. Suicide Project. And so each chapter is offered an opportunity to give back um, and I doubled it and said that we could do it. We did. And we mm -hmm. did it. And I think we achieved it within two months. The right. first, 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 yes. I was, I was first, uh, yeah, amazing line. And then the other one was um, the next jump up is the uh, emerging young woman, yes. where we we look for a woman in our community, uh, in Connecticut, anywhere from the age from 22 to 29, that is giving back to our community in a variety of different ways, either business wise or giving back to the community by doing some, help me out here, uh, well, they, 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 it could be a variety of different they, things. They really could be do, doing I'm sort of stuck on the one that is, <laughs> con we, we've just <laughs> nominated. We just went through our process. Yes. So, yes. Um, but you know, it's, it's really an individual who is seen as a rising star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and they recognize, people acknowledge that that's a future leader yeah. for either an industry, a sector, uh, a skill set, um, an experience that they're building their own business. Um, it, it's, it's really about um, the rising star. Yeah. So we, we give a certain amount of, um, we, we make, I think we make like $2,000 or something to give back. And we send them to August to our conference. And they get to experience over 2,000 businesswomen 
And um, it's just, it's, and I know you're going. And are you going? Yes. Conference in, in this year? I wish I could this year, but I'll okay. go next year. Okay, that's right. Have, you're doing another that. fundraiser, actually. I am. Yeah, that's <laughs> yes. good, though. Yes, it is. It's good, but yeah. I want to go to the conference. But well, I, okay. next year. So we do that. And then the <laughs> other one is where your original question came in, mm -hmm. is that we give $8,000 to a grassroots nonprofit, and we get to choose who that is. Right. And mm -hmm. so my vision was every month we will be looking at mm -hmm. a variety of different mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. and we're still looking. So if you are a grassroots and you relate to women and children, mm -hmm. that is the criteria. Um, we, we would like to take a look at you and feature right. you once a month. We, right. we pick one. Right. And all the way through, we're going to go through, well, what, today's March, April. So we do April all the way through, uh, it'll be through February. Through February, right, because uh, March 1st will start the new year. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so we're, we're, we invite you to come and we give you dinner and we give you the experience to share your message and then we're going to bring you all back and line you up and have our community vote and see who should go on to, you know, be a recipient to re receive this eight thousand dollars. Right. And so what you do at the uh, monthly meeting, if you're the uh, if you're the nonprofit that's selected for that month, you get a an exhibit table. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And you also get a chance to uh, to speak mm -hmm. uh, a little bit about your business, mm -hmm. uh, kind of an enlarged elevator speech, if you will, and you get a chance to share that information with everyone there. And uh, I just think it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. I really do. Um, one of the things that I want to say before we go any further is that we've been mentioning 10 months. This is less than a year. And one of the things that Sandra confirmed last night, which we know, was that we, we have the fastest rising star <laughs> next to <laughs> us of this generation anyway. Our, our, our Annie, has put together this chapter faster than in the 15-year history of the organization. It's the number well, of participants that yeah. you've put together in yes. this short order mm -hmm. um, and the caliber and quality yes. of your leadership team, I think, is yeah. what has really uh, set you apart from your colleagues. We have yes. a phenomenal leadership team, and, and I want to share with your audience both of these incredible women are on my left and right, and we are, I, it, it's not me, it's what you do. And it's, it's, it's all about we, mm -hmm. as a community, mm -hmm. coming together. And it we is. can make great things happen. Mm -hmm. and that's, we can and we will. I yeah, so. we will, absolutely. And hopefully we'll be an inspiration to your audience that um, they'd like to learn a little bit about, about more about us right. and what mm -hmm. we do uh, on a community level. Right. And exactly, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. And towards the end of the show, too, we'll be giving you contact information. So don't worry about that. But as I always say, have your paper and your pen ready because you never know what you're going to learn from us. Mm -hmm. So um, also last night, which I have to bring this up because I can't wait to tell my granddaughter that Beyonce's father was, well, spoke to us through a phone last night. Yeah. Matthew was, Knowles. Matthew yes. Knowles, Beyonce's uh, dad. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yes, and, and, and he's not just Beyonce's dad, okay. This was a man who was number three in Xerox, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Xerox sales. This, we're talking about an African-American here who worked his way up quickly, efficiently, effectively to become number three. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I know the Xerox Corporation because they were a client when I had an ad agency. Mm -hmm. And I knew then, you know, how difficult it was for a woman, you know, to make her way up, let alone mm -hmm. someone who was of a different color and nationality. Mm -hmm. uh, but times are changing. Thank and, goodness. And this is a man who admires our leader, Sandra Yancey. And you could tell by the way they were talking mm -hmm. and by the way he just jumped right in to talk to us. She had the, the cell phone and the, and the microphone. And it's like we're all sitting there going, wow, that's amazing. And he was giving us some tips. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was like we're all sitting there going, oh, my God, <laughs> that's cool. Right. And, of course, it, all of this caused us to run longer last night. But, you know, we didn't care. 
We it, didn't it care. did cause us to run a little longer. But it did, but you know what? It was so worth it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody was floating, you know, on air. Uh, because of everything, because of meeting one another. Right. I met some, some more wonderful women. We had, um, how many guests did we have, 20? We, no, we had no. 42, 43. 42, 43. Mm -hmm. And almost half of them mm -hmm. decided, mm -hmm. I want in. I want in on this organization. Yeah, and you know what the other ones will come along they to? They will. Mm -hmm. You know, it, the right ones will be. There. Yes, the right it, ones. And it, it, honestly, it's not for everyone. It's not. No, it's not. No. But we certainly will welcome, love to meet you and and have you right. see what we're all about. Right. And, uh, you know, that's that's who we, there's always room for one more, as we say. There's always. It doesn't mean, you know, even though our, our tables might be full, there's always room for one more. So. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Well, it looks like it's uh, time for a break. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of minutes and uh, make sure you get your pen and paper handy if you haven't already, okay, because we're going to be giving you their contact information. We're going to be telling you more about this foundation and what it does. And uh, although the, uh, this year's opportunity to be a um, uh, leader, uh, you know, young, young leader selection is, you know, that the time has closed for that, it doesn't mean that you can't start thinking about next year. Uh, you know, the, pe the, the young women that you knew right. that are in, in business, that are just sparkle, that are stars, that you know that they're going to be future leaders. Write it down, okay? And uh, then you can let us know because we'll put them on our list to contact for the next, the next year. Time goes by fast, you know, and if you don't write it down now, you're going to lose it. So, so we're going to take a little break, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes, so stay tuned. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified. Not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Up, college is hard. Down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. So every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. My name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Hi, and we're back. This, of course, is From This Corner TV, and I'm Marilyn Dayton. And uh, we've been talking with Annie Garland and Jean Boyer Roy, and we've been talking about giving back, and we've been talking about supporting our emerging leaders, our stars of tomorrow. And, um, and we've been having a little fun talking about eWomen Network. And I know I've mentioned it to you before, but um, I'm a part of this network, and I have seen the quality 
of the women involved and some men. Um, and just, it's, it's a powerful, powerful room full of energy. It's, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> but it goes beyond that. It goes beyond that in the fact that both locally and um, and I can't really say nationally, we have to say internationally, uh, this organization uh, through their foundation supports uh, supports nonprofits and emerging leaders and more. So we're going to get a little bit more detail about this. Mm -hmm. So shall I turn it over to you? Well, I, I, I appreciate that. I think that, um, you know, at the local level, our support of our um, opportunity to uh, give to the corporate foundation, our local chapter, um, and as we mentioned, hasn't really been in existence for all that long, has raised nearly $5,000 and that money is going to be um, given to uh, the corporate organization um, in support of a variety of opportunities to give back. Um, and so one of the themes, if you will, of the foundation um, that m separates it from others is that um, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. That's true. And I, Sandra said that yesterday, uh, last evening, and that really stayed with me. I actually printed it this morning and put it right at, you know, so I can see it as I'm chatting with clients and as I'm, you know, thinking about how to synthesize the problems of the day. Um, the, the opportunity to support the dreams of others is really what our organization is trying to do and it, that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to do in support of the corporate organization. Um, so who, who is this 501c3? Um, they have awarded thus far since inception 97 cash grants to local nonprofit organizations throughout North America that address the needs of women and families. Um, through the International FEMTOR Awards you want to tell us, Annie, what FEMTOR means? It means female mentoring. Mm -hmm. So we're, we as females and uh, uh, just experienced businesswomen mm -hmm. sort of lift as you climb, which is one of our, as I mentioned earlier, our principal mm -hmm. tenants. Right. And uh, we just want to help anyone who's in need, and we do that in a variety of ways. You know whether they're young leaders or whether it's through our foundation. Mm -hmm. right. I want to correct you, if I may. Was sure. that nine, you said ninety-seven? Was it ninety-seven or Ni ninety-seven thousand? Ninety-seven cash grants. No, ninety-seven cash grants. Grants. Okay. That's not the, the money. That's the actual number of um, awards that okay. the foundation has given because they ha uh, the, the nonprofit applied to receive funding for a particular cause and that's how many grants they have given, okay? okay? Yeah. See, um, that's why I have her, because... Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I defer to my leadership team. <laughs> Which makes you a great leader. Yes, uh, it does. It really does. You know, the other interesting thing about the FEMTOR Awards um, is that 140 scholarships have been given. 140. 140 scholarships have been given to the many different FEMTOR awards that exist um, through the foundation. Um, and the Emerging Leaders, which we've talked about, is, is our premier and signature award program um, for the uh, Lift As You Climb example at a young level. So, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars have left through those 97 cash grants awards. Let me not lead you astray. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. That's considerable. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I had, before Sandra left this morning and after last night, she, you know, when, when I speak to her and her why is giving back, when she was a young girl, she just mm -hmm. wanted to she knew and that's how she was raised in a very mm -hmm. solid family. Mm -hmm. wasn't without its difficulties, but um, she had a strong faith background, has a strong faith background, mm -hmm. and she always believed in tithing. Even if they couldn't afford it, they found a way to tithe. And uh, she, she made this a real 
strong point of who eWomen is. You know, it's, it's one of those platforms that separates us from some others. I yeah. noticed that everything she does, she says a portion of this, and to be exact, $100 out of this, will be going to our foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, almost every time I hear of anything, mm -hmm. remember, a portion of this goes to the foundation. Mm -hmm. So she takes everything mm -hmm. and takes a portion of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, mm -hmm. I mean, I was brought up the same way. Mm -hmm. My grandparents instilled in me, you know, you got to help each other. Mm -hmm. And you, it doesn't matter how many, and I didn't have much growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, we were struggling like a lot of other people mm -hmm. um, in post-war times. And, um, you know, it, it was just, don't think about yourself all the time. Right. You know, and when we're trying to survive, it's hard not to just think about yourself. Right. There's always someone that has it harder, no matter who you are, mm -hmm. what your circumstance is. Mm -hmm. And that not only should make us feel better, but it should also remind us that there's someone that needs our help mm -hmm. or someones that right. need our help. Right. Have you ever done anything where, um, and I'm big on this, I'll go through a toll booth and I'll pay for the person behind me just to give back. You know, and to me it makes me feel good, you know. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I'm in a coffee line right. and tea, well I buy tea, but I do tea. And I'll say, I want to buy the tea for coffee for whoever's behind me, so I'll give them a five dollars or whatever it is. Doesn't that make you feel good? Oh good. Just yes. even on a small level. Yes. Really you know, does. isn't that what we're all about? Is it giving is. back? It really is. It is. Yeah. It really is. So I invite your audience to just think about that in some way. To just um, how can you make somebody happy just by giving just a little, you know? I know we're talking about monies and stuff like that, but yes, it's, just, yes, it's but even it's, more than that. Oh, absolutely. Giving back, um, you know, can be take many forms. Mm -hmm. You know, when we, when we work with board members in particular and we are discussing um, and knowledge transferring what our observations might be, there has to be an appreciation for time because that's a give back. Mm -hmm. If someone is supporting an organization because they're sharing their talent, they're, they're giving up their time mm -hmm. in order to work with an organization and, and to solve a problem, to advance the need, to extend the reach. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's something that people don't always appreciate. But isn't that philanthropy? I mean, that's, that's what matters in the life of the nonprofit. Um, and I was so impressed today when I was reviewing the website for eWoman Network and us because there's an opportunity to volunteer. So it isn't always just about the money. Mm -hmm. it's, about, it's about the time. It's about the talent. And I was very impressed that she had the concept of be a volunteer. Be a volunteer in your chapter. Be a volunteer at the conference. Be a volunteer, you know, within our organization. We are, they they do a variety of different um, events uh, around the country uh, with women leaders. Um, and uh, you're talking about the different chapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah and they do some educational mm -hmm. sessions. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you can be, you can volunteer your expertise to uh, be a speaker, for example, for an organization. So. Um, you know, that's, a, that's an important element. Uh, it to, is, and, and it goes beyond our local chapter, too. Uh, when you're mm -hmm. traveling with eWomen Network, you can attend another, uh, chapter. another chapter, mm -hmm. their meeting, their events, uh, and if there's a way you can contribute while you're there, it will just happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> because yeah. it does. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that impresses me greatly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you've got a chapter on a cruise boat, but oh well. <laughs> you want to go on a cruise? Oh, I'm going on a cruise in a couple so of weeks. So one of the yeah. other things that we do is um, we have raffles and we mm -hmm. solicit those mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. outside sources or members if you're, you're a guest and you want to be a part of that. And that's, that's been really the foundation for our foundation, if you right. can say. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's, it's really where we get the meat from. And, and it's a win-win for everybody. It's actually a three-way win, as I see, because you get exposure as a giver, mm 
You get exposure if you are a winner of the raffle, and um, and and we as a chapter are winners because we can give it to the foundation right. and then fulfill some of these great goals that we have. And I know you're interested in hearing a few other things that we're doing with our chapter. Exactly. Yes. So we have. Um, we have something called Matchmaker of the Year. That's somebody who, that, that doesn't really involve any monetary, but it's, it's somebody who is lifting as they climb or, or really connecting, like you're a connector. Mm -hmm. You could be nominated as Matchmaker of the Year. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Jeannie, you could be nominated as Matchmaker of the Year. Those people who go out of their way to contribute mm -hmm. and connect people mm -hmm. and lift as they climb. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what that's about. So we're in the process of that closes March 31st. 31st. We're looking for nominations for anyone in the chapter. I mm -hmm. thought it was just limited to those that have reached a certain qualification, but I was clear, you know, I got clarity clear, yeah. on that, mm -hmm. that it's open to any member. Wow. So I did not know that. Wow. So being just 10 months into this chapter, <laughs> I'm still learning as mm -hmm. we're, we're growing. Mm -hmm. We're all growing together. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and it's a great journey, you know. Right. Uh, I don't have all the answers and, you know, I turn, defer to you because you have really, you have zeroed in on, on our are giving back uh, mm -hmm. with our Femter Awards. And then we have uh, Made It to a Million Award, and this is given to a woman who has demonstrated, um, the whole concept is somebody who has more than four employees, who mm -hmm. has made it to a million, mm -hmm. who is really giving back to society through hiring uh, employees, and they have to be 51% ownership of the company mm -hmm. with more than four employees. And uh, um, hopefully, we'll have one of those in our chapter next year. <laughs> yes, so, yes that's right. we have two actually that are pretty close. They just didn't mm -hmm. have four employees. So God bless them; they're working really they hard. They must be. Yes, <laughs> they, they have, have to, be. to be. They yeah. have to be. <laughs> yeah. Right. So right. there's that one. And, and Jeannie, do you, do you have another one? Humanitarian? Well, it's that humanitarian mm. of the year, right? So so when we originally started our conversation this evening, we talked about the Bully Suicide Project. Mm -hmm. And that was basically the theme that Sandra Yancey honed in on for her special um, opportunity for every chapter to stand behind. Um, and our... Um, our chapter, as I mentioned before, got quickly uh, satisfied the goals for that particular mm -hmm. uh, opportunity. And the um, right now, they're collecting for the next Humanitarian of the Year. So the Bully Suicide Project, which was called HOPE, um, it's a movement and a training program. Uh, it's a holistic approach to solving the problem associated with youth being bullied in schools. And as we know, that is a mm -hmm. hot topic these days, yes, right? Um, and it, this, this Bully Suicide Project was created by Dr. Audrey Newsom, and she's actually created a system with various uh, technology as well as readings as well as programs, as well as knowledge transfer seminars and sessions. So she's created basically a curriculum affiliated with how um, to uh, prevent, deal with, and um, support someone and their family who might have experienced this negativity in their lives. And that's mm. why she was called the Humanitarian of the Year Award. Wow. wow. Mm. I know that uh, I'm very familiar with Lisa Sasevich, mm -hmm. and she was our humanitarian awardee uh, back in 2011. Really? Yeah. So, and yes, she, interesting. Yeah. Um, so there's also the corporate champion of the year, and that's where we recognize a Fortune 500 company um, uh, who is committed to championing women in their workforce. Right. And mm -hmm. actually, you, uh, um, American Express Open is all about women, and they were our recipient in, in 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So, so it sounds like she has, uh, Sandra has made sure that uh, our foundation helps just about everybody. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a great way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it filters down from there. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, our Emerging Leader of the Year mm -hmm. last year. Tell us a little bit about her. I want to hear about her. Well, I've got a few notes in front of me, and mm -hmm. she's a very lovely woman. Actually, they had um, seven candidates, and they all came from all different you know, disciplines, and they were all, they could have all been winners. But uh, Gabrielle was specifically, I mean, just incredible. She, her name was Ga is Gabrielle McCormick. She graduated from college debt-free, um, and her, what was unique about her is she has created scholarships and opportunities um, for other people, uh, students. Um, she, she earned it all herself. Um, she started her company called the Students Insider's Guide, and it teaches families from across the country how to pay for college. And as an emerging leader in education, Gabrielle hopes are to make college affordable for everyone that wishes to attend. So mm -hmm. she, she put herself through college. Her family did not have the money to do it. And this young woman pulled up the bootstraps and figured out a way, and now she has created this program to teach others how to do that, which that is, is amazing. It's so she's so a tough important. act to follow this yeah, year, definitely. I gotta tell you. I'll definitely. tell you something, I know a lot of young people who graduate college and they are so in debt, and I'm talking about $30,000, dollars 50000 oh, Can yeah. you imagine, you're just starting maybe, if you're lucky, a new job, and you've already got this huge debt that you're carrying mm -hmm. around with you. Um, that weighs very heavily on a young person mm -hmm. who wants to develop a career. They're already behind, mm -hmm. so to speak. Well, so maybe I should repeat her program again. I don't Yes, have, please do. I don't have a website, but you can Google it. Yes, exactly. And it's called uh, Student Insider's Guide. So Student Insider's Guide. Guide. And her name Write is Gabrielle down. McCormick. Right. M-C-C-O-R-M-I-C-K. So that's where your audience needs to have their pen and pencil, Gabrielle. Right. Absolutely. And if they go to the E-Woman Network Foundation, mm -hmm. you will see her there, and I believe her uh, email address is, oh, okay. is Wonderful. hyperlink. I just love Wonderful. our leaders. Yes. <laughs> I know everything. Anyway. Yes. They, they, they think of it all. One, one of the things that I noticed that Sandra said last night was... She says, I don't know it all. Mm. I'm not smart enough to do everything myself. Mm -hmm. And neither are we. Nobody is. What you do is you put together your A-team. Mm -hmm. And you surround yourself with the best people you can find to do those things you need done mm -hmm. to get to where you want to go. And I've heard that before from successful people. I heard that... Um, from the jazz musician Chuck Mangione. Mm -hmm. um, Tony I, Robbins. And always, Tony Robbins. Tommy, Tony Robbins yes. always says, you know, you can play tennis with somebody who's equal or less than mm -hmm. you and shine, but what are you going to learn? Yes. You know, don't you always want to reach higher than mm -hmm. where you are? Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that will bring you to the next level. Without a doubt. And Stretch you know yourself. something? Yeah. Chuck had that in mind because I was lucky enough to know him and work with him. And he said, you know, Marilyn, my lip isn't always the way it, <laughs> it should be. My lip slips a little bit sometimes. So what I've done is I've surrounded myself with the best musicians I can find, which indeed he did. Wow. And um, his music is beautiful. And, you know, that comes from inside him. But he has a, and he's still going strong, which is amazing. Isn't he from upstate New York area? He because is. That's, that's, yeah, that's where I'm from. That's where I'm from. <laughs> yes. Where are you from? Rochester, New York. Oh, I'm up near Schenectady, Saratoga area. Oh, okay. And that's kind of where he came out of, I thought. Well, he's, he, he was born and bred in Rochester, New York. Oh, okay. I knew Mama and Papa. Okay. And well, Brother Gap. Because I used to go to events, and he was there, like Saratoga oh, Performing Arts Oh, yeah, he Arts loved Center. to play Saratoga. Yeah. Yeah. And Rochester, he would say, I'll come back once a year. Okay. <laughs> when the and snow it, melts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when the snow melts. <laughs> and we all can relate to that. Yes, we days. do. Oh, right. boy, do we ever, because <laughs> it is right now. Um, and, and another thing that I want to touch on briefly is the mentorship. That is, I was lucky enough to have mentors in my life mm -hmm. in various, at various times in my life. Mm -hmm. 
I would not be the person I am today. I would not have done mm -hmm. what I have been able to do in my life without a mentor. Mm -hmm. And this organization, mm -hmm. um, there are times when I go to myself, I wish I was younger and I just, I mean, I still learn something every day from someone. Mm -hmm. And this organization, these women, sometimes they just blow my mind. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, well, we have a coaching program. Yes. Yeah, and then we have our Success Institute that you can have access to. Mm -hmm. And you have access to it even if you're not a member, but you, you would pay, I think it's 1995 to have an hour, uh, you know, I think it's a teleseminar. And you can, you know, experience some of the really high level caliber women mm -hmm. and men, you know, a few good men uh, that are available. Uh, two from our chapter are in the Success Institute, Dr. Dorothy Martin Neville, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, Dreams Are Only the Beginning, mm -hmm. or is, I, that was one of her programs, uh, maybe it's How Your Personality Affects Your Health. I can never remember which one it is. She has, she has a couple. And then uh, Debbie Silver, who is our mojo oh, coach. Debbie. Yes. Yeah. She was and at she, our table last night. Yeah. She was. She, she was. She's she a hoot. She was great. She was so she's just amazing. So I know much fun she was from her. the back, just by the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and she could wear them. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, she's all about health and nutrition. Oh, and she the, is. And yeah. she is a vision of health and nutrition. Right. She and she's is. a spitfire. Oh, God, she's yes. a spitfire. Yes. So, yeah. She's amazing. So we have that, and then we also have our radio show where you can, mm -hmm. I mean, you could be locked in your house forever and never have to come out because you could just learn and learn <laughs> yes. and learn. And you just tap into the radio show. That's free I to know. anyone. Yeah. You know, just amazing. We have 15 hosts, and there's 24-7. You can just listen. You know, if you have insomnia. I have insomnia. I just don't have time to, you know, I go and work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am slowly working my way through, and I'll tell you something. Every one of them is top notch, just top notch. Which and ones of them? All of them. Oh, and the, the, uh, you know, the radio the, shows? all of the the radio show, the uh, the free seminars the that you coaches, go and listen yeah. to. Mm -hmm. I, I just, you know, how and about sip tip and talk? Isn't uh, that I heard that talk. for the first time. Yes. Oh my gosh! I was so blown away. I was, uh, you know, because I, all, all this time that I belong, I've not, I've, I've always put it on my calendar, but I never seem to make it happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because we were going to have dinner with her um, the other evening, I said, I have to, I have to understand this woman before I, it's just how I have to do it. Yes. So I found the time and. You go back and listen. And I went back and listened. And here's the other part of it. Usually, I'm one of the first ones. I think, to log off. I'm like, oh, I've had enough. I'm leaving. I didn't leave this one. I <laughs> stayed to the bitter end to hear everything she had to say. So her whole concept is, we're just going to have a girl chat, just yeah. like we're doing here now. Yes. You know, just imagine two big chairs, comfy, says. you know, and it's by a fireside, and then we're sipping your favorite libation, whether it's tea or whatever it is. And so, um, and so she will, she will give some strategies and business nuggets and it's uh, it, I don't believe I think it's open to it's I, members it's members it's only members okay only. that one is mm -hmm. members yeah. I should know that thank you for qualifying that <laughs> so okay. um, yeah but it's like you're having this fireside chat with her and then we can submit mm -hmm. a question right. mm -hmm. and she will answer and you, how you answer is you you tell what you're drinking like mocha mocha double or <laughs> you know chata latte latte or whatever it is I don't know what it is anyway and then um, she'll she'll answer your question it's like laser coaching and she's so giving she is the epitome of Femtrain, mm -hmm. female mentoring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, and that's what she thrives on. That. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's and she's, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, um, now you know a lot about eWomen Network, and you can you need to learn more. You need to go to their website. You need to uh, contact Annie and find out more. Find out when is your next get together because I want to learn more. Mm -hmm. um, just a step forward because I'll guarantee you, um, you will love it. I mean, yes, it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. So look at yourself and say, hey, I, am I ready to take the next step forward to go to the next level up and talk to women like that? 
Mm. Can, so. can I offer? Do we have time to say one more thing? Got it. One more thing. One yes. more thing. Well, even if you can't, if you're housebound and mm -hmm. you have some disability, we have access to so many things outside of just being local, which is what makes us very unique. Absolutely. So I just I want to yes. throw that in there. Thank you. Well, yeah, very, thank you for thought. that. Yep. Yeah. That's true. So. And uh, thank you both for oh. being oh, with us today. It's just been wonderful. I told you it'd be fun. You, yeah. you were, We're still floating on last night, though. In the I last know. We so. are. I we definitely so. are. Yeah. And I We're very make, blessed. I want to make a couple of announcements, uh, and these are both very important. Last time I talked about April being Autism Awareness, Awareness Month. And the people that you know that are involved in this organization will send you an email and say, Light it up blue. Read that email, okay? Because it could be s something simple as putting uh, a blue light bulb on your front porch. What that means is you're drawing awareness to the, the need for autism research and a potential cure. Mm -hmm. Because, well, you know, they've been on my show before. And you know that autism is increasing. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit scary, and we don't know why. So we need to find out why. Okay, so April, the whole month of April, mm -hmm. is Autism Awareness Month. And then, as you well know, um, around the holidays, around Thanksgiving, we had some uh, military veterans here talking. And I know that show has been repeated quite often here at, at Comcast. And uh, as a matter of fact, it was on recently, and I got an email. Someone that saw it said, I have something that can help veterans. Who do I contact? So I put, put them in contact with someone. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that if you want to support our troops and our veterans, you need to say no to the proposed cuts that uh, Governor Malloy is talking about in the budget. Uh, the military department would scale back honors at veterans' funerals. We're talking about the giving of the flag. We're talking about the tr traditional gun salute. And these are things that are extremely, extremely important. So um, on Wednesday, April 15th, from noon to 1230 at the Connecticut State Capitol in Hartford, you can go and say it in person. If not, um, contact your local le state legislator. Let them know you want to say no, and you want them to say no, OK? So that's really important. So uh, now, as we end every show, I'd like to do a quote that kind of sums up kind of the feeling and the, and the conversation that we've been having. The best one that I can find, of course, was with Maya Angelou. Uh, mm -hmm. She said, I've learned that people will forget what you said. Mm -hmm. People may forgive what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Mm -hmm. And how you make people feel when you're giving back, when you're paying it forward, mm -hmm. when you're supporting a young person in their development, that will be remembered, never forgotten, OK? So thank you for joining us today. And remember, if you've got some ideas, send me an email right there. Uh, go to our website and click on any of the shows and see the shows that you've missed. All of them have a message. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.